Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Bugs Bunny Lost in Time for the Sony PlayStation 1. I found out exactly where I was missing a golden carrot in the last place we were in, which was this world. Turns out this part with the ropes, you can't climb this. You just wait for the electric current to come down. Which should be any moment now. I like for it to come down. Okay, apparently I got it to show up just by climbing under something. Or maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Yeah, I just didn't wait long enough. But by climbing up that and making sure that the electric current comes down before you do, you get the last carrot for this area. We are now done here. So without further ado, I'm going to get a drink of tea. Great. I'm going to allow Merlin to save my progress. You have completed this level. Let me save your position. And then I'm going to mention that I am finally using earbuds for the first time in a couple of videos. You may have heard like a slight echo in some of the last couple of videos. Apparently the softer range of volume that I thought would work, but well basically did work when I had earbuds, didn't exactly work when I had just the headset that I'm using, which is still the Logitech, Logitech H111. And apparently the Logitech H111's microphone still picks up the game audio just a little bit. And I had no idea that it was doing that. Thankfully, I've recently bought some earbuds, three more pairs to be precise, and now I can go ahead and do this with not as much echo going on. Where do we go from here? Is it this one? Is it this one? No, it's the pirate ears. They're a little bit of an odd fit. I'm using some Century brand earbuds instead of the usual RCA type. So the earbuds stick out a little more, but I think I should be able to do this anyway. I think I, I think I should be able to put the headset over the earbuds and still do this anyway. So last time we unlocked Minor Mine. We've, uh, we've got 10 clocks and 41 golden carrots. We might as well go for these. We, sh we need to. Because, let's face it, there's going to be a lot of stuff to get, and I want to make sure that I get it all. Gotcha. <laughs> and as soon as we approach that clock... Pirate Sam takes the clock and runs off into the abandoned mine with it. Hence the title of this level, Mine or Mine. Get ten of these objects to receive a clock symbol. And on top of that, we need to break some crates and get virtually everything. Let's go ahead and kick this chest and get the gold carrot inside. There's nothing else in here. I always want to check. And here's what you need to do first. Jump in a clam, make sure you bounce straight up afterwards. Then jump on this barrel and go through this waterfall to this cave. The little picture on the wall gives you a clue as to what to do here. You need to jump onto this thing and place three pearls on it. Because doing so will raise all three of these platforms. But if you leave just one, you only get just one. While we're here... I do want... Okay. I do want to get that golden carrot. And I do want to... Wrap around jump to this crate. Your jump may not be perfect. Just keep pressing X. And you should be able to make that jump okay. You may land in midair. If that happens, just keep jumping. Just keep pressing the jump button. Hey. And you should be able to make it. with the conjunct with, In conjunction with using the control pad. 
Also, you want to be very careful with those clams, though, because if you don't jump straight up, more than likely you'll miss the pearl, and you won't be able to press R1 to grab it immediately. You can the the clams are only open for a short time, and if you're in them when they close, that's gonna cost you a whole care to health, and that's gonna hurt. So let's go ahead and grab this last one. Okay, get out, get out of there. Yeah, I do not want a repeat of my practicing this level because I got the clams closing on me so hard. And by placing the last pearl here and walking off, we have platforms. Cool. Now, what to do? Well, the platforms are right here, so obviously we need to jump across them, across the barrels. Watch out for the coconuts that this guy throws, because that can happen. I was trying to avoid that, and that still occurred. Okay. I don't even know why I grabbed that. Don't worry, there's plenty more on the other side. And kick you! Yeah, just kick the little stake that's in front of this tree. You'll send this guy flying. And now, fun with TNT barrels. By blowing these up, we'll get ourselves a bunch of health in case things goes, ro goes wrong like that. Yeah, you can pick up these torches and light the little TNT barrels. It won't be the last time we pick up a torch here either. We want to sneak to the side, light this barrel, and get rid of that dude. That guy will end up being our way to another part of this area. And all we need to do here, I do need to look around too, by the way. There are plenty of chests that I can open. I want to make sure I open them all before I go into the mine, because yes, we will be going into the mine. What am I doing? Well, at least when things are done, they stay done. I just need to be a little closer to the edge here. And once you leap onto this guy, hold forward so that way you can get to the other side. And here's this guy who is stealing this little wheel. We need to walk, get him winded. And then, hopefully without getting hit a whole bunch. Where did you go? Okay, he's winded. Kick him. You will have to kick him multiple times. I'm right here. What are you doing? Apparently I went past the point that he could go. And now I can kick him again. This time he is down for good. Can I jump on him? No, I can't. Now to trigger the checkpoint. Put the wheel back and immediately kick it. This will open the doors that were at the beginning. And don't worry about that guy getting back up and taking the wheel. He can't do it. Anyway, let's go ahead and kick some crates. That way we can get some golden carrots. Apparently that gave us one. Without, ha without us having to jump for it. That one too, amazingly. Um... I've kicked you. I know I've kicked you. And I'm going to kick you just to be safe. That way I don't miss anything. And don't even bother jumping over there. I'm pretty sure you're going to fall in water. Maybe. Can you climb the tree? You cannot climb the tree. Never tried it, though. I thought I'd try here since I have infinite lives. Okay. And that barrel doesn't really lead to much of anything. Doesn't seem that way. I mean, that just goes all the way back over there, so we might as well go all the way back over there. 
Just not that way. I was nowhere near the platforms when I did that. Okay. Let us... do this from here now. And now we can get back to those doors that we opened. We're still going to get into the mine. And even though the sign tells us not to enter, we're going to enter anyway. We can grab a clock. <laughs> and we can grab another carrot. All right. So these barrels over here, believe it or not, you probably think you just blow them up right here and maybe something will happen. Not necessarily so. However, if you light them the way they are, you get a clue as to how to do something. So let's leave the, the immediate area and, and try again. And this time, let's pick the crates up and put it in the boulder, or in front of the boulder, that is blocking the mine area. And like before, we want all of these things next to each other. So that way when we do light one of them, we can blow them all up at the same time, as we saw earlier, and we will have enough explosive force to open the mine. And we've already got two of these d dealt with. Now for the last one. When we go into the mine, we will need to be very careful. Not just with obstacles, but with picking everything up. Because the majority, the vast majority of what is here is in the abandoned mine itself. So let's go ahead and light this and get rid of the torch because we have no need for it anymore. And apparently just bl blowing two of them up and then blowing up the third one is enough. At least they all blow up. Now it's time for the mine. Sam's mine, no trespassers. Hmm, good to know. You're going to be collecting a lot of things. So just be ready. By hitting targets, you can open up pa alternate pathways that lead to carrots. Be ready to jump for carrots and the crates. And also be ready to jump over these things as well as other obstacles. I've hit both targets on this, on this route. I've gotten a few carrots. I've gotten a few crates. Now let the carrots be your guide here so you can jump over the barrels. Left, right, X, left. Be sure to jump over these things or you probably figured it out already. If there are parts without planks, you don't have to jump over them. But if there are edges that don't have like the little metal railing, you do need to use left or right to avoid those. Now this time we're not running into the targets. This takes us back to where we were. Ow. But this time, we can go to the right. And we're going to get everything that we can here. These guys will take some track. The pickups will be your guide. Thankfully, nothing here instantly kills you, which is a good thing. And when you grab a clock on the track, that means you've reached the end of the curtain area. And you're about to enter the next one. In case you need more carrots, you've got them. We're going to hit that target. And we're going to press down the duck so that way we don't run into that plank. Jump here. Grab the crate. Now this time we're not going to hit the first target. Okay. Don't hit that. And this time 
will turn left here. Now we're going to hit this target. And by landing just in the nick of time, we were able to do that. And we didn't get the clock, so therefore, that took us back. Not going to hit this first target. Can I hit the target after the second one? I'm pretty sure I can. We're about to find out anyway. We can. And this allows us to go right here. Get a few things. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the start of this section yet again. And what happens if I don't hit the second target? We're going to skip the first two targets this time around. I want to see what happens when... Okay, that's two. And we're going to hit this. Press right just to be safe. I'm pretty sure you have the press right there to avoid that TNT barrel. And we're going to grab this. We're going to jump over that. Jump here. Just don't jump that early. Duck with circle. I should probably mention that. And what happens if we take this... Oh, it's a good thing I did then. Because this allows us to get more things. And by hitting this target, I'm pretty sure I can get even more things. Let's be careful. How are we doing? 433.9. Okay. And that gives us our fifth clock. Now we have a third section. Again, we want to be careful. Because of that and things like it. Yeah, want to dodge carefully to avoid the things. I did a dumb thing. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose a life of my infinite lives on purpose. And try this again. Let's pay more attention. Pretty sure I need to hold right to get that. And now we can duck here. We're now getting everything that we missed the first time. How are we doing? 539.9. Okay. And there is a crate there. So, when Sam shows up, you need to bump him into the TNT barrels and avoid getting bumped into the TNT crates yourself. That's how you're going to survive all of this. And you don't need to jump over all of this like I do, but... <laughs> Since we've gotten all the cares here, I guess we can get away with it. And by hitting him that early, we get a clock. And now we've gotten another one. That's cool. And we're now on this track. And we're now over here. 7, 39, 10. Okay. Need to be careful. Use the barrels for health if you need them. Jump over all the stuff that he drops. I did not press left. Dang it. If it's lit or flashing red, you need to jump over it. Or in that case, both. How am I doing on health? Okay, perfect. Need to be sure. I did that on purpose. Now, when you pass by our good buddy, Sam, you need to ram him. This will take health off of his health meter. This is how you're going to beat Sam.
And as much as I would like... Okay. If I don't hit the target, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to loop over and over. You can do that for health if you need it, if you wish. But eventually you're going to have to hit that target, I think. So let's go ahead and hit the target. Let's try not to do anything dumb for the rest of this. And there's eight, but I'm still missing another two. That is weird. I'm going to have to go hunting for those. Good, but you left some stuff behind you. Let me save your position. Let's go ahead and save our position now. I will look for Thanks, Moyle. Bye. The yeah. other on, two Moyle. clocks that I'm missing in the next video. How are we doing? 93%. Apparently I was a lot closer to the end of the game than I thought I was. Which means that the next level that we get, that we unlock, will probably do it. So, I'm going to look for the two clocks that I'm missing in... Mine or mine. I'm trying to think of the level name, and it's already right there in front of me. Why, why am I thinking about it? We're going to get the two clocks there, and then we're going to attack whatever the game throws at us. That's the plan anyway. Though more than likely, the next level I get is going to be the last. Which, And if that happens, I may go back to previous areas and look for areas that I didn't have before. Because I did unlock La Corita in the 1930s when I didn't mean to, and I ended up playing that. And because of that, I ended up getting a few more clocks, and I'm a little higher on the percentage meter than I should be. Nevertheless, once I get the last two clocks in mine or mine, we're going to see what the game throws at us, and then I'm going to look around for virtually anything else that I can do before I play that, le that next level, which is, again more than likely going to be the last. So, join me then for that. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!